Are you getting ready to go on deployment but have questions about how communication works on the ship? Well, before you go anywhere, watch this video. I put my life on the line. I put my life on the line. Hey. I put my life on the line. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, I'm CS2 Harris. I put out informational videos about the Navy. And this video is going to be about communication on deployment. So I get a lot of questions from future sailors, spouses, family members, relatives about how to keep in contact with that sailor while they're on deployment. So there's a lot of forms of communication while you're on deployment. First off, we have personal email. It's like Yahoo, Gmail. Then you have the ship email which everyone that's on board the ship will have this email account. Then you have the pay phones. There's pay phones on the ship. You have the ship landline phones where certain offices have these phones in case of emergencies. You can dial directly home from these phones on the ship. You also have access to the internet so you can get on social media like Facebook if you want to write someone from there. And then lastly, we have writing letters. I know it's kind of old fashioned, but a lot of sailors write letters home. So that's another form of communication. So my personally best form of communication on the ship is the ship email. It'll never let you down. It's fast. It's easy and everyone has access to it on the ship. So some downsides to some of the other forms of communication like internet and personal emailing is sometimes the internet could be down and you won't be able to get on Yahoo or Gmail, Facebook or other forms of social media while you're on deployment. So that's why I kind of cancel out uh, internet and a personal email because sometimes they're not guaranteed. Next we have the pay phones. Pay phones are great, but the only thing I don't like about them is you have to get a calling card for them. The calling card could cost up to $20 and it seems like it's about three minutes. So it's very short time you get for these calls and the money adds up. Also, the lines are long for the pay phones. You could be waiting a couple hours just to use a pay phone and time is limited on the ship. You might be trying to get to bed and you have to wait in line for these phones. You might be on break and have to go back to work and the lines are just so long to use a pay phone. So that's why I don't like using the pay phone. Next, the ship phone. So like the landlines on the ship, uh, they're great also. The only reason with these is they're mostly in your LPO's office or you have to go to admin to use them in case of emergency. They're called POTS lines, but they're not always guaranteed because sometimes they can be cut off due to uh, secret missions we have going on about the ship. Uh, also, a lot of people use these phones, so you could be waiting long line for these as well, just like the pay phone. So that's why I don't like using the um, the landlines, the POTS lines. You could be waiting a couple hours just use the phone, and a lot of the times they're only for emergency purposes. And lastly, we have writing letters. So we all know writing letters could take a long time to get a response. Uh, they usually can take from three weeks up to a couple months just to get a letter back depending on who you're sending it to, when they send it back to you. So writing letters could take a long time. It's great to write letters because you get them and you can read through them. Sometimes you have a little gift in it. Uh, so my, my wife, my girlfriend at the time, she would uh, kiss the end of the letter so you can see the the lip prints on the letter which you put the lip gloss on and kiss it. I thought that was cute. And uh, I would put some cologne on my letters when I sent it to her. So it's just a little thing we did. All to say the ship email is your best option. It's reliable, it's fast, and there's plenty of computers on the ship for all the sailors to get on and use these uh, ship's email account. Just some recommendations. Uh, if you're going on deployment, make sure you notify your cell phone provider. Let them know you're going on the deployment and they can terminate or, or suspend your monthly payments for the time being up until you get back from deployment so you're not paying that monthly uh, payment every month while you're on deployment because you won't be able to use your phone while you're on the ship. Um, once you hit the ports in these countries, most cell phones allow you to use Wi-Fi so you can still use your Wi-Fi to FaceTime or um, text message your loved ones back home. But it's pretty much a waste of... Uh, money if you're paying this monthly payment every month and you're not able to use your phone because you're on deployment on a ship out to sea. So make sure you notify your cell phone provider and let them know you're going to deployment and they can suspend your contract temporarily until you get back from deployment. So a couple of people asked me, could you bring your cell phone, iPad, laptop while you're on deployment? Yes, you can bring those things with you while you're on deployment. There's no punishment. You just have to get them safety tagged for uh 
fire purposes. The only thing about having your cell phone, laptop, and iPad, there's no Wi-Fi on the ship. There's no cell phone service while you're out to sea. So you won't be able to use these things for like internet connection. You can still get on them. Uh, if you want to watch movies on your laptop or look at pictures and play music on your phone, you can do those things. Just put them in airplane mode so that they can save battery. Um, but yeah, you won't be able to make calls, get on the internet with your laptop. You can't hook your laptop to the uh, Ethernet cable on the ship or there's no Wi-Fi for that. So you won't be able to get on the internet with your laptop, but you can watch movies like I said. And when you're communicating with your loved ones back home, do not tell them where you're going. Do not tell them the times you'll be at these places because that's the easiest way to get the internet shut down on the ship. Uh, the command doesn't want any terrorists out there to know when we're pulling into these ports because that makes us a target. But once you're at this country, you can tell your family where you're at. You can show them pictures and you can tell them where you've been. Just don't tell them where you're going and the dates and the time. All right, so that concludes this video. If you have any questions about communication on deployment, make sure you drop a comment down below. I will get back with you as soon as possible. Also, make sure you like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces.